I get asked quite often what we do with the birds during the winter. How do we keep them warm? Well, the honest answer is I do what everyone else does. I wrap everything in as much plastic as I possibly can and I turn heat lamps on when needed. This is Amaya from Daybird Aviaries and it's snowing. Yeah, it doesn't do that often. Yeah. A lot of the birds will be seen to take baths in their water even when the temperature is in the high 30s, low 40s. There's some snow on my tuck. Yeah. It's sad. And there's some snow on the leaf pile. Yeah. Oh, snow here. There's snow here. I did not snow. Let me see. Can I see? There's some snow. Wow. The first snow of the year. Yeah. How cool is that? Super. Super. Super duper. Super duper. Any more snow anywhere else? That's all the snow we're getting? I need all the snow. I need all the snow. All of that. Let's see. I got what? a big snowball. You got the big snowball. Yeah. Let me see what Catherine's doing. Okay, see you Catherine, on. why are you in the car? Okay, so this is the only accumulation we have so far. I don't know why the camera is so greedy right now, but uh, that's all the snow we have. Uh, November the 30th, 2020. That's the only accumulation so far. And it stopped, uh, it stopped snowing. I don't know if it's gonna pick up or not, but Jeremiah made the snowball. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you having a mask on? My nose is cold. Oh! <laughs> Come on, the virus! <laughs> it's, it's keeping you warm. Mom! Yes? Can you, the you can. I'm going to! Yes, sometimes the birds do poke holes in the plastic. That's just something that we have to be willing to accept. Look, it's Tuesday morning. This is all that is left. There's some remnants in the back of the truck. Thank God for that. I don't like snow. Do you like snow? I don't like snow at all. I'm here at the gas station getting gasoline. And it's like 30 degrees. I don't like winter. Do you like winter? I don't like winter. So, if your feed store doesn't look like this, then you ain't country. See that boy right there? That's a hard working boy. From the truck outside, it looked like he had a whole pallet full of caterpillar food. That's an awful lot of caterpillar. That's an awful lot of hay. We I could get him to work this hard at home. Maybe I should pay him more. It's in the high 40s right now. Tonight it's supposed to be really cold again. Days like today, we make sure that all the birds have plenty of carbohydrates. We give them corn and oats and wheat. Actually, what I do feed them is an 11-way scratch seed. It is meant for game birds, but, um, well, here, let me just show you. Here is the mixture. You can see it has some black oil sunflower seeds in it. It has some pellets mixed in there also, but it is wheat and corn and oats and there's barley in there. There's cracked corn and milo and some millet. Lots of high quality carbohydrates that they can have. And honestly, I give this to all of the birds. Uh, 
from the quail up to the pheasants all the way to the biggest macaws that we have. This is going to go to the golden pheasants real quick. Now here you can see Doodles, one of our endangered military macaws. He is enjoying the, the seed mixture. And there's his bowl of pellets that is the normal diet. When it is not quite so cold, they get lots of fruit and vegetable mix, sprouted seeds. And you can see that we're on the inside of the aviary looking out. The plastic, well, it, it makes the lighting kind of goofy for the birds. But you can see that they are enjoying themselves. We can, I'm going to turn fairly quickly. And there's the other pair looking out through the opening that will be covered tonight. Here is Rainbow, one of the scarlet macaws, also an endangered species that we breed here. Enjoying, enjoying some sunflower seeds. Now the geese, they just don't ever get cold. The uh, ducks that we keep and even the pheasant species that we keep, they don't seem to be affected by the cold at all whatsoever. The emus, they have access to come into the goat barn, but they only come in to eat and then they sleep outside in the complete open. And you know, at the very end of the day, we bring all of our most susceptible birds inside. These are our parrotlets. This is the smallest species of parrot that we keep. We only keep the one pair currently. This is little Louie there in the back. He is a turquoise blue. And then this little one up here is LB. She is an American yellow turquoise. And so she's that creamy lime green color that's just beautiful. And these guys are going to stay the entire winter inside. Another of the little birds that we bring in is Squirt Blossom, our perfect lorikeet. She, uh, which she's a tropical species, she's a fruit and nectar eater, and her food would freeze outside. Um, we have the big lorries also, the big red lorry and the rainbow lorries. They do just fine outside, and she would probably do fine with the heat lamp, but um, I wanted to use this excuse to bring her inside so we could play with her. Isn't she just amazing? Where are you going? Huh? And now here we have Pablo. He is one of our Patagonian conures. He is really, really old. He's probably older than I am. Uh, he is blind. He can't see. And I'm going to move my hand. He he is a tame bird, but being blind, he he can be very scaredish. Uh, but he has plucked. Uh, he's pulled his feathers, and he's done it for so long that they no longer will grow. And he is he's almost completely naked. And he is one of Daniela's friends. He likes me and I love him. 
here, that clicking noise is him grinding his beak. But, uh, he lives inside with us during the cold weather. He likes to stay outside with the flock. He is much happier outside with the other birds. But, he spends the winters inside with us. We don't know how much longer he'll be with us. But he's a really old man, and we give him the very best life that we possibly can. Just a very simple cage and lots of good food. And that's Pablo, and that's how we take care of the birds during the winter. We do everything possible. God bless you. Bye-bye.